Hi there guys, welcome to IWA 2018. I'm here with the airsoft.nu boys. I'm just gonna take you on a, a tour of our latest stand. Uh, we've got a few bits to show you this year. Um, if we just go over to this wall first, um, obviously uh, this is our G&G &G wall, front and back. These are some of the newest models from G&G, &G, available all across the world. Um, at Nukeprol, we're now distributing G&G &G to all of our partners. Um, it's very easy to get hold of now for them. Good part support, backup, all of those kind of boring business things. Uh, we're offering a, an absolute full comprehensive range of G&G. &G. Uh, we're going to add to it, expand it over the next year. So this is really our first, first show with G&G &G as partners. So we're just showing off some of their stuff here. Um, and if we, if we just move away from the G&G &G now and we look up at, obviously our Delta series has grown massively over the last 12 months, 18 months. It is going to grow even further. We're just looking at a few new models, stuff like that. It's going to be announced very, very soon. Um, so if we just look at these, we've got last year, obviously, we launched, we launched a few of the AEGs uh, in alpha lengths, which was long lengths. Now we have the Bravo series, which have come in, and they're much shorter length rail systems. We do them in the, the Nomad, and we have obviously the Jackal and the Enforcer with new entrances at the middle of last year. So you might not have seen them, you probably have. Uh, we've, got, we've got them in two lengths. We've got the Alphas and the Bravos, like I've just said. So moving forwards, we're also going to move a lot more different models, which I can't say a lot about now. But um, if we just sort of move back around this way. We got uh, one of the newest uh, additions of our lines is our new uh, optics. So with these, you, we've got we've actually got four optics. But we've only got three of them on display here today. We've got the three by nine by forties. We've got the three by nine by fifties, and we've got this is one of the a lot of reviewers have loved this, and a lot of our players have loved it. It's the new ZR10. So this is adjustable, 1.25, 5 by 26. It looks very, as you can see, it's a very good looking scope. Fantastic for DMRs and stuff like that. It's got RGB reticules, so red, green, blue illumination you can change. It's got 10, 10 different brightness options. Very accurate scope, easy to zero, totally toolless. Just pull these up, adjust them, click them back down again. Variable zooms there on the front, so really easy to use. And obviously we've got the 3x9x50s and the 3x9x40s. And these are just sort of your, your standard rifle scopes. Uh, the, uh, this one's RGB. Uh, they're both RGB actually and then we have an entry level one that isn't but again 10 color adjustability um, and easy to adjust again as well uh, so yeah these are our new optics they're actually they're in most shops now so uh, it's good go and check them out uh, really 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 good reception for those so we're really really happy with that if we go over to the uh, ENL this is the ENL well someone's mixed, messed my guns up they're not looking their best they're all at different angles but obviously I don't know how much people know about ENL but ENL are a real steel weapons manufacturer based in mainland China and they manufacture weapons for all kinds of militaries and stuff like that producing real AKMs and stuff like that so they're a really really cool brand to be on board with but this is their AR series that they've been working on for a few years this is just a pick of some of the best ones um, as you can see from them they're absolutely stunning finish they, they really feel like a real weapon. And I think that's probably the best bit about ENL weapons is they are almost indistinguishable between real steel and airsoft. So here we've got their MR, MURs, um, we've got their MURC. Uh, this is obviously their standard M4. It's probably the most realistic M4 I've ever held and fired. And obviously you've got a Mark 18 style here as well. Uh, brilliant guns, but if you come around to the other side of the ENL, Obviously these are the two of our favourite AKs, there's a lot more, there's, there's 20, 30 different ENL AKs, so these are, but these are two of my favourites, so we brought them to the show. They are almost indistinguishable from the real thing, if you have a look at them there. Really, really stunning weapons, really good wood finish work, everything's just brilliant on them, I absolutely love this one, it's probably my favourite one. I've got something new to show you as well, so if you come over here. A lot of people will probably be really excited to see this. Last year I demoed, obviously, our, 
our extra large case. We've just launched our large case. They've taken the market by absolute storm. We, we can't ship enough of them. Uh, they're in stock all across the world now. Uh, and this is what we've been asked for quite a lot, actually. This is, um, this is our new SMG case. So on this, it's obviously stacks just like all of the other ones. It's a little bit smaller. It takes stuff like the Evo or an MP7 style gun or an MP5, that kind of stuff, with, with, with room for mags. So I can oh, to just show you inside that. This is a little bit shiny, this, but this is a pre-production. So as you can see, it's just the same as all of our others. Uh, it's got the IP67 rating. And one of the uh, really cool features uh, for probably the taller people um, is on the back here. You've got an adjustable handle that comes out. So it keeps it at the same length as the longer cases. Again, it's going to be available in tan, grey, green and black. We're also looking into some hydro dipping at the moment to see if we can get some sort of uh, camo colours available. And that'll be across the whole range. Uh, again, it's still early at the moment, so we're not 100% sure. Um, I think we're working on a couple of other things as well with the hard cases, but um, definitely let us know what you think about these. These are slated for a launch in about two months, um, so they should be hitting the stores in about two months. Uh, but uh, I'm really excited for that because it's such a handy little case, fits in most cars, and we were asked for it a lot, so it was something we definitely thought we'd work on. For the hard cases as well, we've also just launched these at the show. It's only, um, they're just little locks, but absolutely perfectly fit all of our different hard cases. So you've got the, hot, the rifle case ones, the pistol case ones, and the tether on it is exactly the right length. Because in the USA, if you can fit your hand in to a case, you're not allowed to fly with it. So these are very, very important because they're exactly the right size for our loopholes on our locks. We do a couple of these and we've got a heavy duty lock as well, which is just a big block lock. You can't fly with it in the US, but um, you definitely get away with it in some countries. And even if it's just for storage, they're really, really good secure locks. If we uh, come around here, we've got, this is just one of our new display stands. It's a bit colorful. Uh, it just displays all of our BBs, so these will be hitting the shops very soon. Again, the gas stands have just moved out into the shops as well, displaying all the different styles of gas. I've covered gas at every show for the last five years, so I'm not gonna go near the gas at the moment. But I'm just gonna take you over to the new Raven range, because obviously you've probably heard about this, so if you just come over here. Okay, so this is one of the most exciting things at the show. This is our new Raven MEU 1911. Uh, we do a couple of other models we have the eu series available and we're working on a few other models as well so expect some announcements very soon we're going to expand raven a lot over the next sort of 18 months 24 months so with this specific model it's based off of sort of the classic style it's got these nice golf ball style grips on there it's really lightweight uh, we made the slide lightweight because obviously with the 1911 meu you have a very limited gas reservoir and with the limited gas reservoir you want to get the maximum amount of response and power and you want to empty your mag so with that we've made it light so that it can definitely empty the whole magazine uh, these are available now all across europe while we've been at the show we've just launched it in tan we've got a silver slided version and we're working on some other versions as well same with the eu series we're just about to launch the eu 17 and we've got the 18 now available with a silver slide and in tan so also two-tone for the UK market um, but yeah this is um, obviously they're gas powered as well I didn't mention that uh, but uh, we recommend we use sort of Newpole 2, Newpole 3 with them um, but yeah they're uh, I would say that's probably where we are at this show that's probably the best bits so thanks for watching guys uh, make sure you leave us get on our Facebook page on our Instagrams leave us comments let us know what's going on we've had a lot of feedback over the last 12 months all positive which is absolutely fantastic it's been a really exciting show for us and the team here um, so it's been great to see the airsoft and you boys so thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next year thank you very much bye bye rapporteringen presenteras i samarbete med Wise Guy Röda stjärnan Tactical Store och Malmö Airsoft Terräng Malmö